Mike King is heading around the country, uh, bringing awareness to what he does. Um, Gumboot Friday is on its way as well. And um, someone stole his bike. He's on an electric bike. It's a great-looking bike as he heads around the country doing God's work. And um, someone, some prat stole it. But some good people got it back for him. Mike, g'day, mate. That. Um, I just recently spent a month in, uh, in America. Yeah. And I am surprised by the level of support for for the Don. Yep. Um, you know, he he's more popular than, than people realise, mainly because uh, he puts food on tables. So um, I, I just found it fascinating. It's kind of like um, in New Zealand here, we revere uh, Barack Obama. But, you know, he's kind of like Jacinda Ardern. You know, he's revered outside his own country, yes, but yes. in his country, he's not. You know, he's probably the you know the worst thing that ever happened. And and once you get Americans talking and they understand that you're not going to berate them and they open up. I mean, I was in Hawaii and even even the local Hawaiians, which is a hugely democratic island, by the way. I mean, yep. the Democrats are going to win there. But the level of support that I got from the communities was... But for the Don was really surprising, really, really surprising. Well, what do you reckon, so, Mike? What, do, do you think that? Um, oh, I mean, that's just a, a stab in the dark question, mate. But do you think um, Trump can win it? Oh, of course he can. Yeah, of course he can. You're like, yeah, write him off at your peril. It'll be no surprise if Kamala gets in, and it'll be no surprise if Donald gets in. It's that close. Yeah, she'll probably win the popular vote, but he'll win the ones that count, just like he did in oh, 2016. Well, you know, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many votes you get. You've got to win, uh, you know, the university, whatever it is I've got over there. Tell me, have you got, got your, to win that? You do, you do. Um, Hawaii, my son wants me to take him to Hawaii over Christmas. I probably should get up my chuff and do that. Well, what's Bro, it like? so, uh, Yes or well, no? So, yes. I, um, I stayed down Waimanalo Beach at an Airbnb, uh, right next to Barack's house, as it, as oh, yeah. it happened, and... Yeah, and, and and if you Airbnb, it's quite cheap. Like we didn't eat out, um, so it costs us eleven grand for the month. So oh, that's all right. It's very reasonable. Yeah, yeah, kiwi. So you know, um, but food. Oh my god, I don't know how they live over there, bro. A bottle of milk is uh, eight bucks. A loaf of bread is uh, seven bucks US. You know, so god. it's wow. it's not cheap. But, but if you like prawns and pork, you'll be living the dream, son. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> yeah. Mate, it's probably, it's probably as expensive as it is in New Zealand to, to live now. Yeah, New Zealand's got bloody oh. expensive, Mike. You would, you'd see that. Yeah, not as expensive as the States, bro, honestly. Really? Uh, over there, it's just ridiculous. Well, that, but, yeah. But there is still a sense of optimism there, you know. I think there's there's a real sense of resentment in our country at the moment. And... and uh, we're, we've all seemed to have gathered in our tribes and we think everyone else with a different opinion from us is wrong and we're all throwing rocks at each other. Um, and we've forgotten that underneath the, you know, the, the national, the Labour, the Greens, the Christian, the Muslim, the Maori, the Chinese, the Parker, underneath all those uniforms are real human beings mm. who just want the best for our kids. And until we get our shit together and start... Uh, coming together again and, and not judging people by the clothes they're wearing, I think we're not going to get anywhere in this country. And, and this is this. I think you've just hit the nail on the head, Mike. Well, well said. This is this is happening uh, in families as well. You know, um, this sort of resentment well, and this the worst division. Kind, you know, but it's the worst kind of resentment. It's silent. No one's saying out loud what they really mean mm. for fear of being, you know, homophobe, blah, 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 blah. Everyone's, everyone's being shouted at. So, it, you know, it's that kind of, it, it's it's hidden division, which is the worst kind of division. I mean, no one will tell you who they vote for anymore, you know, because, oh, you know, th then you're the enemy. It's like, it's democracy, dude. You vote for who I want, but I can still, like, for example, David Seymour is probably the most vilified man in New Zealand, yeah. right? yep. I've had heaps of conversations with that man and, you know, I found him to be fair and reasonable. I don't agree with what he's, uh, w w with his thoughts and his actions, but I understand better why he is doing the things that he is doing 
and it's made my world a better place, if you, if you get my logic. No, good on you, Tiff, because you've opened up your mind. What you've done, Mike, yeah. is you've opened up your mind and you've allowed his thoughts to exist as they exist. You haven't shut them out or cancelled them. And it's so crucial no. to allow people to... My view on freedom of speech is let people... Say, my view is it outs people. Let people say what they like and then we can work out yeah. who they are. The worst thing is, yeah. the worst thing is, I resent it when they, did, when they keep their views to themselves, but the harsh views, you know? I oh, know, and they they put them within their tribe, and because it's they're always in their tribe, they think everyone thinks like Sick that. Of fans. Everyone thinks yep. like me, yeah. Yep. And you know, and it's this: you're not allowed to disagree with any or have a different opinion because if you're having a different opinion, you're you're telling me my view is wrong, and I've got to be right, and you've got to be, you know. So you nothing goes anywhere. You know, when, when, I, when I first started on here, just doing a bit of work here at the, the um, platform, Mike, my daughters were ringing me, what are you doing there? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. said, what, what do you mean? You've turned into a right wing now, <laughs> have you? You're a Trump supporter now, aren't you? <laughs> Duncan Garner. Oh, look at him. He's he's national. He's hacked now. Like, he's a, he's an anti-vaxxer. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and the funny thing is, I don't, I don't even know what all that means. Like, I just do yeah. what I do, you know, and I said to the, I yeah. said to the girls, I said, um... What's the problem? Because what I do yep. is, I, with my, especially with my kids, I throw back questions to see if they will, you know, if they want to come for a debate, they better be good because they're going to go up against me. So they better be bloody good and informed and know well, their the shit, you know? Thing is, the beautiful thing is, I know you for who you are. Yeah. And you are sharing with a bunch of listeners the reasons you swing the way you swing. So their life is a better and more improved because of it. Yeah. You know, we just need world views. We don't we're not getting we're not getting a full rounded view of what's going on. We're just getting echo chambers and social media doesn't help because it just feeds you the shit that that confirmation bias. See, see, look yeah, at that. Exactly. This, I've got the proof. Look at this. Uh, yeah, look, so there's forty five people that like me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, bro. Hey. I, get, I, yeah. I get more shit than anyone. So if you ever see me, uh, if you ever see me uh, with a ngamahi, uh, ngamahi means F you, yes. right? Because it's at the bottom of every rejection letter that any ministry ever gives you. Ngamahi, <laughs> so it means F you. So instead of yelling at people, I just go ngamahi and block them. And everyone goes, oh, you're so kind. They said such horrible things. And then you'll see about 500 laughing emojis for the people who know what I've just said. Yeah, I know. The Namahi comes from the HR people these days. We're laying you off. Namahi. Namahi. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you know, uh, after mental health, HR is the fastest growing industry in the world. And can I just say this? They're a bunch of scumbags. <laughs> They're a bunch of scumbags. Worse. Seriously. They're worse than that, mate. The, the, one, the dealings I've had with them, they lie, they set things up, yep. they, they're yep. underhand, they're covert, yep. they, and they're not truthful. And they're self-righteous pricks. Brilliant. So you and I are on the same page. Have you got your bike back? Yeah, I did, mate. Yeah, yeah. Within social media, mate, the power of social, within 10 minutes, I had the name of the guy and his address, and... A lovely lady in the community, um, her kids were keeping an eye on the house until they spotted the bike, and she just went over there, grabbed the bike, said, this is my uncle's bike, I'm taking it back, and took it off the mongrel bob pillar. Jesus. So, you know, this is the power of community, you know. Good day. And, you know, it, it, everyone said, oh, this, uh, that's a bad neighborhood, and she said to me, I just want you to know that he's a visitor, and this is, you know, we, we are... We are good people. And I offered her the $500 reward, and she said, I didn't do it for the reward. You keep the reward. And and then she came back, texted me two minutes later. She says, my kid says, give him the bank account details. But, I, 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 <laughs> but, you know, I said to her, if ever, for whatever reason, you need it, no questions asked, cause it's there. But isn't that beautiful that a community, the police, Social media all come together for good. It was great. Yeah, I, I think, but I love, I, I, the, Herald, I, 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 I love the Herald's headline: uh, "Expletive laden rant." Oh, yeah, I know. I think was their headline, and I'm just like, you know what, Duncan? If you know, if I was Sir John Kerwin and did what you know, did what I'm uh, am doing, I, you know, I would get the biggest headlines. I'd be on every TV show. Yep. 
every day. And I get that I'm not flavour of the month, but all they seem to want to talk to me about is uh, the $24 million that I stole off other charities and got through the back door. When the fact is, and they know this, I never got $24 million. The Ministry of Health got $24 million, which is in their bank account gathering interest. And retrospectively, after I pay the councils once a month, they reimburse me that money capped at 500000 So, you know, people should just get their facts straight, but, you know... Yeah, good news or, 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 never sells. No, good news doesn't sell, but a, a good explanation does, and um, and I, that's the first time I've heard it like that too. They've got the money, it's sitting there in the budget, but you have to cover it first, and then they, yeah. they reimburse, reimburse you. Not then a, I give them receipts, yes. I give them receipts, and I have to then give them a report on how many kids I've seen, uh, age, ethnicity, gender, I've got to do all of that, all of it. God, it's, it's, almost, it's almost pain. It's, it's almost. It's almost. It's almost um, been a. Um, it's a new surrounding your neck. That money almost. In my, in my view. Well, well, brother, it, it could. It could end up destroying my charity. Yes. Because traditional funders are now going. You've got twenty four million. You've got twenty four million. You know, and that, so, you know, and and like I'm grateful for the money. Don't get me wrong. I'm so grateful that you know our kids are, are getting getting the counselling, but. You know, I've got a major restructure when I get home just just because, you know, the, the impact that that money is having on how we are viewed by the public. Yeah, and and I've seen and I and I, I know you well. I've seen I've seen how your your charity operates, and I know every cent goes towards um, the councillors. Yeah. I've seen it. I vouch for you everywhere I go, and but and I just want you just to know they should keep donating to you because you still yeah. need the money to cover all the other stuff. But here's the thing: I have got compliance issues now so i need to hire more staff to do paperwork you know and and like again i'm not whinging about it um you know i'm i am grateful we are working closely with the ministry of health but the perception that a comedian got 24 million dollars in every other charity in the country that does exactly the same work never got anything well duncan there is not one single charity in the country that gives counselling to five to 25-year-olds, regardless of ethnicity and regardless of economics. Not mm. one. And if anyone can name me one that does it, or even a government service that does it, I'll hand the $24 million back and I'll walk away.